Hold on, give me a hand. Blue flies back to the table, and if you wonder what does he want to do with the money bill? 
He wants to donate your money bill. I have a question for you, Matt. Are you okay with your money bill being donated? Are you sure? Since you're pretty okay with it, Matt, let's do a second round. But it's a little bit higher this time. What do you have? 500 peso bill na po for the birds without a month? Wala na po na kasi ma'am. Actually, ma'am, we're just kidding. It's all part of the show. Before we turn your money, you have a lovely photo opportunity with our lovely bird too. You can have it with our official photographer. Or do you have anybody with a camera or phone to take your picture? They can take your picture right here. Now for this next part, you shall be our three types of parents here in Cebu. Since you already met our green wing macaw bandit, we're also going to meet our cute and cactus parrot red and our blue and gold macaw goldie. You're going to have a close and personal interaction with these lovely birds. So guys, let's look at the environment in our trainers. That there are visual sliding differences sa female o sa male and cactus sparrow. So as you can see guys, red right here is a bit called bright and red coloration. It means that female say red or male say red. But male and cactus sparrow is called a bright and green coloration. So once again guys, red means female and green means male. And did you know, just a fun fact, makasana all dyan mo ate, that parrots are monogamous. Meaning, they only have a single partner for the rest of their entire lifetime. Sana all magparot na lang. So let's talk about our parents na parent lifespans. Now our parents, Bandit and Goldie, can live up to a resounding 70 years of age. Well, our impact is parent red right here can live up to 30 to 40 years of age. So that is it guys, we are three types of parrots here in Cebu Ocean Park. Once again, we have our green wing macaw bandit, our cactus parrot red, and our blue and gold macaw goldie. Red Bank CEO. 
peoples, and to kill hunt by the open, wet lands and seas, to kill eating fish, crustaceans, and crayfish. Now here in the Philippines, they are locally known as Laoins. In the Visayas region, they are known as Tanwaos. And you may be familiar with this bird, because nani siya sa logo sa show ni Kuya Kim sa Mata Laoins. So let's give a round of applause to our primary guide, Kim Young. Scientific name is Kilornis Holosphilus. Now these birds are endemic for arena na sila makikat sa Philippines, particularly on our major islands. And did you know why they're named as serpent eagles? Because they hunt prey such as small reptiles, such as serpents, and even small birds in the wild. Previous characteristics include deep and deep yellow eyes, dark brown colored feathers, and the with their mockery whistles, which allows the bird to take flight from one bridge to another. So, right here, Paris guys, as Freddy will take flight once again. And there you go! What a majestic raptor! Let's give a round of applause to our Philippine Serpent Eagle, Freddy! Now, did you notice that three of our trainers were holding a glove? It is what you call the falconry gauntlet. It is used to protect our homing pigeons. The homing pigeons have an innate homing ability which allows them to return to their nest and mate. They have a special sense called fragmental reception. Pilipod, wala mo kukuy card? Hahaha 